Hello there friends, it's really great to see you. I know, I can't really see you, but it's nice to imagine that you're there. In today's lesson, we'll be painting a painting not unlike this one. It's gonna be really great fun. And I have a special guest with me. Earl, my muse and colour consultant. Hey, how you doing? With his knowledge of colours, this painting should turn out brilliantly. So let's get into it. I'll be using a Montmartre Studio Single Thick Canvas and it measures 30 centimetres by 40 centimetres. So now it's time for me to draw up my little friend Fred. Now I have found this illustration on the last page of the PDF lesson plan at the Montmartre TV page. So let's draw this up and this is quite simply done by a nice curve for his face and belly. Now his ears are two little triangles with a straight line between them. For his face, we just do a little love heart shape. The eyes are a circle and there are two of them. Now the other side. You've got big eyes, Fred. Pop on a triangular beak. There, that looks great. Now draw on a pupil and another here and a pattern for the iris. And that's Fred's cute little face drawn in. Now let's draw in a couple of parallel lines fairly close together and add some feet on the end. Now I can draw on his little wingies. A little heart at the centre of each wing and with that Fred is now completely drawn. Now draw on the tree trunk and add some curly whirly branches toward the end. Try and make sure the branch gets thinner the closer you get to the end. Well, our owl is drawn up and it's time to add some paint. And I'm going to add the Montmartre Two Seasons Acrylic. You get 18 colours, so there's lots of choices. So the first thing I'm going to paint is the sky. And you're going to paint that green, right? Skies aren't green, you silly bunny. How about we put in blue? Yeah. Okay then. So I squeeze out some light blue and apply it with a Montmartre 50mm sponge roller. Don't add any water and cover the entire canvas. Well, our background is dry. Now we'll paint our tree trunk. And we'll paint our tree trunk... Light green, huh? No, Bunny. We'll paint it brown. So squeeze some brown paint out. And we're going to apply it with our number 12 angle. So let's get this paint on. That burnt sienna just looks lovely on that blue. Lay it on thickly so it covers well and has a nice texture. For the curly whirly bits, use the edge of the brush. It's all in the wrist. So now let's paint the leaves. What colour shall we paint the leaves then, Bunny? How about burgundy? Leaves are green, Bunny. So squeeze out the green. Just be cool, Mum, be cool. Let's just paint then. Hmm, okay, moving along. Squeeze out some pink and paint in the body. That pink looks so vibrant. Now paint the face in lavender and the beak and the legs in light yellow. Use a fine round brush to do this and lay it in thickly. Paint Fred's eyes in white and then paint his pupils in purple. Well, what do you think, Earl? Man, I think it's missing some job, to be honest with you. Oh, maybe some pearl paint, for example? Yeah, yeah, that should do Okay, it. well, let's get that on. So, heeding Earl's wisdom, I apply some pink pearl paint and it really adds some shimmery brilliance to the piece. I lay it on quite thickly for maximum effect. Well, doesn't that look great and wasn't that a bit of fun? Well, that's goodbye from us. And until next time, keep on painting. Mm -hmm.